So this is pretty cool. <laughs> we found out that this is not uh, the flowers that we have are not tulips. We're pretty sure it's a daffodil now, but it's pretty cool. And there's more right here coming out. See, there's more over there. Whoa! And this one, it's actually pretty cool. Cause earlier this morning, this thing is pretty much like this still. Then when the sun came up, it bloomed. It's awesome. Oh. I, I step on those. Oh, don't step on those. Yeah. What's wrong? What'd you see? Yeah. Wow. There's so many. Oh. oh. What? Let's start that over. Yes. Who does it? Well, I need to work now on my lap. <laughs> Well guys, John's going to work and I'm just feeling so passionate. I've been talking his ear off for the last couple of minutes. The thing that I'm most passionate about in life is being a midwife. But not necessarily being a midwife. <laughs> I said that wrong. <laughs> like, pregnancy and childbirth and all sorts of things. Women's rights and meditation and yoga and being healthy and all sorts of things like that, you know? Yay! I'm just getting so passionate Yay! about it. Because I was reading a book that really was inspiring. I'll tell you guys more about it in a minute. But let me say goodbye to my honey. <laughs> guys, check out what I finally got today. Woohoo! A portable dishwasher. I told you I'll give it to you. You don't have to tell me. You don't have to tell me again. One is enough. What? <laughs> I don't know how to say. Good job doing that joke. <laughs> I ruined that stupid joke. Huh? One time last month was enough. There you go. That's a... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Got one. No. Anyway, my procrastinator husband finally got me the dishwasher. It was free. Our family gave it to us. Singing. Yeah. Eli is doing so well at swinging. Woohoo! <laughs> you got it. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? No, no, I cry. Made you cry? Yeah. I just hurt my face so bad. I ran out of here and the, the rope hit my face. <laughs> You're doing well swinging though, buddy. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Watch your head. I, I do want to go down. Mm -hmm. Hey, baby girl. <gasps> you got a stick. Wow. Okay, guys, I'm going to tell, finish telling you what I was saying before I forget. Basically, what I'm passionate about is natural living and just natural lifestyles and getting rid of chemicals and toxic things and, you know, a lot of modern things that we thought were great really are destroying our health and our families and, I don't know, I just, I've always been passionate about stuff like that and I'm kind of a hippie. And so I tend to embrace a lot of those hippie type of things that that a lot of people have a hard time with, you know? Mostly just the natural things in life. So um, the main thing is pregnancy and birth and all those types of things. I just am fascinated by birth and I love it. And if you guys haven't seen my birth, go check it out. It was really awesome. And I think more women could benefit from being educated on natural birth, you know, and I see lots of things on social media, you know, 
um, even my friends from like high school for example they'll post like their birth story on their blog and just by seeing the outcome they had I can pretty much guess how their labor went they because their baby's in the NICU or because they had a c-section I can basically say I bet they were induced I bet they weren't very far overdue either when they got induced I bet that they got an epidural pretty soon in their labor and I bet they laid on their back throughout their labor and had coached pushing. That's why they had an episiotomy, probably. You know, not that's not the case for everything. I'm not trying to be judgmental at all. But just because everything I've um, learned and witnessed and just, like, learned about... Hold on, he's stuck with you. You got it? <laughs> okay. But through all those things I've learned, I just... I can kind of guess that that's what the outcome was because of whatever, you know? Um, that's just how it is when you're educated on something, you know. Everyone has that. My baby's going to the sidewalk. <laughs> Come back here. So I know that my calling in life is to be involved in that somehow. So I don't know if that will be um, a, an actual midwife or maybe a doula or just an educator or maybe just talking with people that I know. I'm not sure yet. I don't know if that's what it's going to look like, but I'm feeling really passionate today. So I did go and check the midwifery schools. And um, I would basically need to get a bachelor's in science, pretty sure, and through a midwifery school and then take the exam. And then I could be, you know, my own, I could have my own business, like being a midwife on my own. And that would be awesome because then I can decide how many births I'm going to attend. It could just be one a month, you know, and just keep it like really low key so that like I can still be a mom and take care of my family and stuff because that's the most important. But I can't deny, like, this calling I feel to just be involved somehow with birth and everything. So if you guys have any ideas for me, uh, let me know in the comments. I'm, I kind of am feeling like I just kind of want to teach people. Like, maybe that would be a good start for me. Just teach something I already know. You can't teach what you don't know, so just teach what I already know. And I don't have to be a midwife to do that, you know. I could just teach people about birth because I know a lot about birth. But I wonder if maybe I can just do something on YouTube. You know, that's always kind of been my passion too. You know, maybe I could just start with YouTube, upload videos about the things I know. I just kind of need to buckle down and decide what I'm going to do and then do it. Because you can't just sit around planning all the time. I tend to do that and I need to just get going and do it. So if you guys have any advice for me or if you think that's a good idea, let me know. So me and the kids are just playing out here. And it's such a nice day. Absolutely beautiful out here. And I just love the neighborhood we live in. It's so quiet. Yet sometimes there's like lots of people walking around. There's kids out playing. It's nice. It's a really nice neighborhood. Hi. I love you with me. I'm so sorry my kids' boogery faces are always all over your screen. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's hard to keep up with the nose wiping. You hear the birds? Oh, they're so pretty. Now it's quiet. <laughs> you climbing down? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Guys, Esme just fell down the stairs a little while ago, and it was so scary. It's okay. So it's been quite a while, maybe ten minutes now. And she fell down the steps right in front of our house. Um, she was, she's usually fine, you know, she knows how to climb down the stairs safely, but um, she was just leaning over to like play with Eli's hair and tease him and stuff, and he moved, he stood up at exactly the time she leaned forward, and um, she just fell face first, head first, right into the cement. So I am, I am pleasantly surprised that she's standing up right now and like looking at the kids outside. Nancy girl. Esme. She held on to her bag of cereal <laughs> that whole time. You okay? Alright. <laughs> She's laughing now. She's been nursing for like 10 minutes. Um, right here, she's got a pretty bad bruise and scrape. Alright, I think she even got a bruise on the bridge of her nose. <laughs> Back here is another scrape and bruise, and right here. That is so sad. It's one of the hardest things to have your kid go through. 
Those moments are so scary. You don't know if you need to call an ambulance or if you're being dramatic and you just need to like sit down and, and wait. And so I decided to just sit down and let her cry. It's good that she's crying, you know, that's a good sign. And then uh, I just nursed her because that helps with pain and comfort and everything. And now she's moving around, so I guess she's okay, but man. Every kid goes through this, right? <laughs> Eli had his fair share of falls and things, and Esby's going through the same thing. It's hard when you start being active, and oh, it's so hard to have your kids grow up. You poor thing. These bruises gotta heal before the wedding. <laughs> the wedding is in like 10 days, or not 10 days. We're leaving in 10 days. Is it 10 days already? Wow. Um. But the wedding is for another in another two weeks, so I think she'll be okay. They should heal by then. She's the flower girl in the wedding, if you guys don't know. So, anyway, I love you. Don't grow up and don't fall and get hurt, okay?